Hey guys and welcome to a penned film tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these really sleek and stylish buttons. Now they look simple, they look nice and they're relatively easy to make. It just consists of two layers, the bottom background and the text layer and that's it. It's just effects put on a layer. So go ahead and create a new layer. Uh, 500 by 500 will do. I'm going to label these buttons underscore tutorial. Um, everything else here is alright. Let's go for a white background. Click OK. And we have a new canvas to work on. Now when I decide on the size of buttons I like to work to a grid. Now this grid is 20 by 20 pixels with four subdivisions. Now you can bring up the preferences and go to grids, guides, grid and slices. So you've got 20 pixels, four subdivisions. So that that is what I work with. So we've got actual pixels. Right. So now we're going to bring up this round rectangle tool with a radius of five pixels. I think it defaults to around um, 10 pixels maybe. Now the color you choose for the solid at this moment doesn't actually matter because it's not going to be the final one. So we're going to just create a button here like so. Let's move this down into the center, get rid of the grid. So we've got our background. So we're going to name this button BG for button background. Then double click, hit gradient overlay. Now this is where you choose your final color. So I'm going to choose a dark-ish blue, I think, somewhere around here. Uh, there. Let's go darker. So we hit OK. Well, let's bring that up again, actually. Copy that and go into the light color of the gradient and bring this up slightly. There we go. Now, notice I've got the B checked here, which means it's on the brightness. You've got hue, saturation, brightness, red, green, blue. I, I like to have it on the brightness setting so you can quickly have brighter or darker colors, which is handy for making these buttons because it does revolve a lot around bright and dark colors. So now we're going to hit stroke, I'm going to put that to one pixel inside, and then bring down the fill type and choose gradient. Now we're going to click on this and go through the same thing we went through with the colors. So I'm going to paste, and it's going to let's go even darker, I think. Oops. Now we can actually copy this hex value and paste it into here and go slightly lighter. Now you notice that the stroke gradient is going across. We want it to go up. So we go to angle and type in 90 degrees, which means it's now facing, well, the direction is going up. Now this still isn't light enough, so we're going to bring this up just a bit more. There we go. Now we're going to add an inner shadow. So we're going to choose normal, make it white, put the opacity to 100, and change this to 90. Whoops. Well, we're not finished yet. Now we're going to choose distance and choose 1, and on the size we're going to choose 2. Now this adds this little glossy top to it. Now you can have 120 degrees if you want. In fact, I'm going to go for 120 for this tutorial. Now we're going to make a drop shadow. Make this 90. Put it on normal. Make the distance, say, 1. And that around 2, maybe. Stick with 5 and bring the opacity down. So now we have our button base. Right there. Now what we want to do is get 
text for it. So let's go back into the gradient overlay and choose the dark color. Now, if you can notice, I like to choose colors that are in the same range as everything else, which is why I'm copying, pasting, and using light and dark colors. So let's bring up the text tool. I have on impact, regular, and 24 point, and sharp. So I'm going to click on the button and type button. So I'm going to drag this over. Now there's something I like to do is so I can have it perfectly center is select the button and the button background layer with the control key. Go to layer, align, vertical centers. And do that again for horizontal centers. Now it's centered in the middle of the button. So let's bring up the type tool again and change the color. Let's put it as that and then bring the brightness down again. So now we're going to open up the styles for button, choose um, drop shadow, make it white, bring the opacity down to around 40, have it on normal, distance 0, size 2. Now you can play around with these to find which one you like. I like to have it really thin. You can just about see it around there. It's helping the layer to blend in. We're going to keep it on 1. Mm, not sure. Should I have it on 1 or 0? I'll have it on 0 for this tutorial. Now we're going to have an inner shadow. Put it on normal. Whoops. Bring the opacity down to around 40. Distance 1, size 5. Hit OK. And there we have our button. So you can see how the text looks like it fits in with the button really well. And the button just flows really nicely and has this really slick, glossy look to it. Now, you can do these with other colors, any color you want. So I've done it with blue, slightly different to the blue there. Gray, orange, and green. Now, if you look on my YouTube channel here, you can see that I've got the subscribe button. Um, this is the style I made. And the arrow is using the same style. So you don't have to use it on buttons. You can use it on various other shapes and stuff. So, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!